Welcome to the tutorial to Sakura Arms, a dueling board game where you call upon the goddesses to channel their powers for two players ages 14 and up that plays around 15 to 20 minutes. In Sakura Arms, your goal is to eliminate your opponent by reducing the number of Sakura tokens in their life area to zero. This is accomplished by taking turns back and forth, using attacks, utility cards, and enchantments to deal damage and gain the upper hand. Each goddess has a number of cards, a special ability, and sometimes other material which you will use during a duel. You will be able to select two of these goddesses and build a deck by combining their powers together. There are two kinds of cards in the game. Normal cards form your deck and can be used from your hand. Ultimate cards are always available to use, but they require a special resource called Flare to play. Additionally, any card may be either a full power card or a reaction card. A full power card takes up your entire turn. You can't do anything else on the turn you use one of these powerful cards. Reactions can also be played for their effects on your own turn, but they're often more effective when countering foes. In the middle of the table, combine both game board halves into one. Place 10 Sakura tokens onto distance, 3 Sakura tokens on each player's aura, and 10 Sakura tokens in each player's life. Begin by selecting any two goddesses. You need to gather each goddess's normal and ultimate cards. You then create a deck of 7 normal cards and a pile of 3 ultimate cards. You will also receive a large reference card for each goddess. Also perform any additional setup steps on your goddesses reference boards, and place any bonus cards that come with your goddesses near the play area. Bonus cards don't go into your deck, but they might be brought into play through other effects. New players can use the quick build feature to dive into the game right away. Simply take all the cards from a blue flower from one goddesses reference card, and all the cards with a red flower on the others reference card. This will build a competent starter deck which you can adapt in later duels. Shuffle your 7 normal cards to form a deck and place your 3 ultimate cards face down near your flare area. Randomly determine which player will go first. Each player draws 3 cards from their deck and may perform a mulligan by taking any number of cards from their hand, placing those on the bottom of their deck in any order, then drawing back up to 3. Each player takes a vigor card. This will keep track of Vigor points which are spent to perform basic actions. Give the starting player 0 Vigor and their opponents 1 Vigor. Now, you're ready to play the game. In the start phase, you will go through each of these steps before moving into the main phase. First, gain 1 Vigor. Your Vigor cannot exceed 2. Second, if any enchantments are active, move 1 Sakura from each to shadow area on the board. This includes any of your opponent's enchantments. Any enchantments that loses all its Sakura tokens is sent to their respective discard piles. Some enchantments will activate its disenchant effect once all its Sakura tokens are removed. You may reshuffle your deck by taking 1 life damage by moving a Sakura token from life to flare. Finally, draw 2 cards. If you're not able to draw cards, Take 1 damage from Aura or Life for each card you cannot draw. If you cannot take damage from Aura, then you must take Life damage. During the main phase you have two options, do any number of standard actions or do one full power action. When you do a standard action, you can take basic actions or play a ready ultimate or cards in your hand without full power. You may make any number of basic actions. You must spend either one vigor or discard a card from your hand face down into your discard pile for each action you make. Note that some cards in your discard pile will be either face up or face down. Here are the basic actions you can take. When you advance, move one Sakura from distance to your aura. You get closer to your opponent by making the number of Sakura in distance smaller. You may not do this when you're at master distance. 
The master distance, by default, is when there are two or less sakura on the board. To retreat, you move a sakura from your aura to distance. If you use recover, you move one sakura from shadow to your aura. By doing this, sakura in your aura will help you defend from attacks. When you focus, you move one sakura from your aura to your flare. Focusing allows you to gain more flare which are used to pay for ultimate attacks. To break away, move one sakura from shadow to distance. This can only be done when you're at master distance. As another standard action, you can play cards from your hand or use readied ultimate attacks. There are three types of cards you should know about. Each card will denote which kind they are. Utility cards resolve by performing their effects from top to bottom. Discard utility cards face up in the discard pile. Enchantment cards will have you place Sakura tokens from your shadow and or aura on it equal to the number of its charge value. If it has any initialized effect, resolve those now. Enchantment ongoing effects stay active while the enchantment has Sakura on it. Enchantments will be discarded when there are no more Sakura tokens on it and will activate any disenchant effects. Any removed Sakura will return to shadow. Blade enchantments are discarded face up. Attacks can be played while you are at the correct range. The number of Sakura on distance according to the card. When you do play an attack card, do the following in order. First, your opponent may play one reaction card in their hand or as a ready ultimate. After resolving the attack, check to see if you are still in range. If you are not, your attack has no effect and it's discarded. If you are still in range, your opponent receives damage in which they will choose to apply it to aura or life. Move the number of sakura damage taken, aura to shadow and from life to flare. If the opponent's aura is not enough to take the damage in full, the damage must be applied to life instead. After the attack has resolved, perform any after effect on the attack. Attack cards used are placed in the discard pile face up. To play ultimate cards, you need enough Sakura in Flare in order to play it. Sakura used are moved from Flare to Shadow equal to the card's Flare cost. Ultimate cards will resolve normally depending if there are a utility, enchantment, or attack. After it resolves, the ultimate is kept face up rather than discarded to indicate that it is now used and cannot be used again in the game. Some cards are full power, meaning that they can only be activated by using a player's entire main phase. These can either be normal or ultimate cards. If you play a card or do a basic action on your turn, you cannot use a full power card on the same turn. After a player has done what they like to do in the main phase, the player concludes their turn with the end phase. If you have three or more cards in your hand, discard down until you have two. Discarded cards are placed face down this way. After that, it becomes the next player's turn. The game continues until one player reaches zero life and with the other player becoming the winner. This has been the tutorial for Sakura Arms. For more information about this game, please visit www.level99games.com slash Sakura Arms. While there, check out the other games you may enjoy. Pixel Tactics, Battlecon, Exceed, and many more. Thanks for joining us today. Have fun playing Sakura Arms, and as always, happy gaming.